John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. Some of you are probably getting tired of hearing about all the success of the Chrysler Corporation. From the mighty Viper sports car to the spacious Cirrus sedan to the adorable neon subcompact, Chrysler has received more than its share of positive publicity in the last few years. But don't think that it's over because Chrysler has just added two new players to its already impressive lineup, this new Dodge Avenger Coupe and its close cousin, the Chrysler Sebring. Here we go again. If you're fond of what Chrysler has been doing with sedans lately, you'll probably love the Pentastar's latest coupes. The Dodge Avenger and Chrysler Sebring are clearly products of the same cab forward philosophy that gave us the LH sedans and neon subcompact. Designed from the ground up as a coupe and built for Chrysler at Mitsubishi's Illinois plant, our test Avenger leads its attack with a deep, aggressive front fascia that recalls Dodge's earth-shaking Viper sports car. But the long, graceful sweep of its roof line speaks more of urban sophistication. While our ES-grade test car's tail with its standard rear spoiler and scalloped bumper again offers hints of pure sports car performance. But this mix of slick and sporty rides on a sedan-length 103.7-inch wheelbase that's oriented more towards a clean ride than razor-edge handling. The Avenger ES shouldn't be any slouch in a straight line, however. That's thanks to this standard Mitsubishi-built 2.5-liter 24-valve V6. It sends 155 horses and 161 pound-feet of torque to the front wheels. Base models also offer a standard five-speed manual transmission or optional automatic. The ES, however, is available only with a smooth four-speed auto. But auto or not, our test car still delivered a zero to 60 time of 8.7 seconds. The quarter mile lasted 16.6 seconds with a terminal speed of 84. The engine sounded rather fierce during launches, but most power was concentrated in the middle and top end. It's an engine well suited to real world cruising and passing, not quarter mile sprints. Like the Eagle Talon, the Avenger is based on the Mitsubishi Galant. Its mid-length wheelbase, light power steering, and double wishbone suspension deliver handling abilities more genteel than Jackrabbit. But while the Avenger may not feel very aggressive, there's plenty of grip available from 55 Series Goodyear Eagles on 16-inch alloy rims and a healthy dose of brakes as well, thanks to standard anti-lock equipped disc. Stops from 60 average 115 very stable feet. It all comes together on the street where the Avenger delivered a mature yet responsive driving experience. And while the EPA estimates consumption at 22 city and 28 highway, our Avenger consumed fuel at a rate of 25 miles per gallon on our mixed test loop. The Avenger's interior is the most sporting aspect of the car, and indeed the instrument panel is virtually the same as the Talon, which to us is great as all switches and systems are well positioned in a driver-oriented manner. Ditto the clear comprehensive gauge cluster, and also facing driver and front seat passenger are standard dual airbags. Front seat room is good, though the sloping windshield makes it feel a little too intimate. The optional leather-covered buckets are a bit short, but support for the lower back is very good. The shoulder belts are height adjustable, something not usually found in a coupe. Everyone on our staff found the ventilation controls and optional compact disc stereo well laid out and easy to reach while moving. But the feature that makes the Avenger special is the back seat. Unlike so many other cars in its class, you can actually put adults back here or fold the seat back for increased luggage space, expanding on a trunk that already holds 13.1 cubic feet of cargo. To get in an Avenger, buyers will only have to lay out a very reasonable $13,341 for the base four-cylinder model, move up to the V6-powered ES, and the price climbs to $17,191. Our well-optioned test car goes for $19,330, or less than the average price of all new cars today. The newly arrived Chrysler Sebring with its slightly more upscale sheet metal has more standard features and a slightly higher price structure. The Dodge Avenger and Chrysler Sebring are great looking, well thought out designs, and they should appeal to a wide range of buyers looking for a comfortably sporting coupe. The kind of cars that we've come to expect from today's lean, mean, and successful Chrysler. And as we said before, here we go again.